All right, I got my Mini 4 Pro. Full battery, yep. My Pocket 3, ready to go. Extra batteries. And my 2023 product of the year. All right. Oh, you wanna see what this is? Let's go talk about it. This is the Power Source Charger from Symic. Now, when I choose a product of the year, I want it to be something that is not just for drone pilots, but I want it to be something that anyone will find useful and valuable for its price. So first, I wanna to explain to you what this thing is. I'll tell you what you can use it for. I'll show you how to use it. And then finally, I'll help you, hopefully, understand why every tech lover, craftsman, handyman, homeowner should have one of these things. So the Symic Power Source Charger is a 100 watt mini power station and 145 watt power source that utilizes the 18 volt batteries from Ryobi. Yes, don't laugh. Why Ryobi? You're probably asking yourself. I'm gonna tell you why here in just a minute. Now the design of the Symic PSC is very lightweight. By itself, it weighs just eight ounces. It is super, super light. When it's attached to one of the Ryobi batteries, it weighs about two pounds. It has a very ergonomic design. It makes it very easy to carry. And then it has this transparent, like cyberpunk look to it. I wasn't a fan of this look, like when I started seeing this come about in tech, but now as I'm seeing more and more products have this see-through, this transparent design, it's kind of growing on me a little bit. It's pretty unique. I don't know what you think about it, but I actually like it. Now on the top of the Symic PSC, you'll see the OLED display that provides all of the information that you need to know. No other similar product on the market has this. No other product has feedback like this. Yes, there are other mini power stations very similar to this one. They don't look as nice as this one. Plus, none of them have this screen on here with all of this information. This is very unique. Also, no other brand offers a 100 watt USB-C charging capability. Now, also on the top is the power button, and then there's the LED light. I'm going to talk about the light here in just a second. Now, on the front of the device is the toggle dial, and this is used to select your settings. And then there's a spot for you to string a lanyard if you want to. I don't know why you would ever want to hang something like this around your neck, but, uh, but if you want to have a lanyard, you can attach one right there. On the back of the unit, you're going to find the three ports. There's a USB-C 100 watt port, and then a USB-C 45 watt port, and then at the bottom is a USB-A 18 watt port. Now that USB-C port on the top is also an input port. Now to make the unit work, you just need to attach a Ryobi 18 volt battery, simply by sliding it right on top until you hear that satisfying click of those two locks engaging. To turn the unit on, you simply tap the power button and you'll see the display light up. The information you can find on the OLED display include the remaining battery, the voltage, the input and output indicator, the max output, and then in blue lettering, you'll see the USB-C stats, such as how much they are outputting or drawing in. Another quick tap of the power button will display the USB-A port stats, and then the LED light settings. To enter the settings, you tap on the toggle switch on the front of the Symic PSC, and here you can set the USB-C one and two output and input settings. I just leave them set to 100 watts all of the time. I don't know why you'd wanna dial that down, but maybe there's a reason, I don't know. You can also set how long the screen will stay on and how long the device will stay powered on overall. You can set a power limit where the unit will turn off. You can enable or disable the strobe light setting, and then you save your settings by holding the toggle down for a couple of seconds. Tap the power button to get to the LED light brightness setting and move the toggle left or right to adjust it. You can turn on the LED light with its own power button on the top. And if you have the strobe option engaged, you can toggle through all of the different strobe settings. It even has an SOS setting. This LED light, you guys, is so useful. I've used this little light more times than I can count. I've used it to work on my vehicle. I've used it as a nightlight in the hotel room for working on plumbing. God, I hate plumbing. It's uh, uh, pieces love the bane of my existence, but it's really nice to have the under the cabinet lit up. My kids use this in their blanket forts all the time. It's so, so bright and it's so convenient to set this thing anywhere. Now, as far as charging your gear, this is what's the most important about this thing. It can charge a mini three or mini four pro plus battery from zero to 100% in about an hour and it can charge an Air 3 battery in about 75 minutes. A fully charged Ryobi battery with the Symic PSC 
can charge about two and a half of the DJI Mini 3 or Mini 4 Pro Plus batteries. It can charge almost four of the regular mini batteries and it can charge your DJI RC2 about three times. If you wanna get an idea of how many times a full battery could charge your device, just look at the amp hours on the battery for your device and then divide it into 72. That's the amp hours on the Ryobi 18 volt four amp batteries. Like I said, this thing is not just for drones and cameras. You can use it to charge your phone, power your laptop, charge your action camera and so much more. Pretty much like any small electronics that you own can be charged or powered with the Symic Power Source charger. Now, as far as charging your Ryobi battery through the PSC, you can charge it at up to 100 watts and it takes about 46 minutes. Now, why did Symic choose to make something like this that works with Ryobi batteries instead of some of the more professional contractor type brands? Well, the biggest reason is Ryobi is known for its affordable yet capable lineup of tools and other battery powered devices. Ryobi is the brand for do-it-yourselfers that aren't professional contractors. It is the brand for the average homeowner. Now, I will admit it. I never gave Ryobi a second look up until about a year ago. All of my tools for the past 25 years have either been DeWalt or Makita. I think I have one Milwaukee. But then last year, I really started noticing how many different products on the shelves that Ryobi were starting to offer. Plus, you know, I watched Ben from Authentech and he started showcasing so many different products from Ryobi. So I started buying a few of their things and I was really surprised, you guys. No other company offers a greater number of battery powered devices and they are available just about anywhere. Now, like I said, would I try to build a house with Ryobi tools? Probably not. You could if you did. A lot of people would probably make fun of you, but for everyday tasks, you can't go wrong, especially for the price. I think that's why Simic chose to go with Ryobi because they wanted to go with a brand that was available to the largest group of people. Now, speaking of pricing, the power source charger is regularly $50, but at the making of this video, it's on sale for $35. That doesn't include the battery. You're gonna probably pay about 40 or $50 for one of these batteries as well, but the PSC by itself right now, 35 bucks. I don't know how long that price is gonna last, but if you wanna be certain you get the most current price, use the link that I've put in the video description. These sell out incredibly fast. Like I said, if there's something that I didn't mention or talk about and you have a question about the power source charger, let me know down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. If I can't answer it, I'll reach out to Simic and they will let me know. Hey, quick favor for anyone out there that maybe knows somebody that works at Ryobi or they know Ryobi, let them know, hey, this guy's been trying your stuff and he really likes it. Maybe you should work with him. I don't wanna be at the level of Ben from Authentic, but I'd like to try more of their stuff. I think I've got four, I've got five Ryobi tools right now and I'm, I'm really, really pleased with how they work. I'd like to eventually someday try their lawnmower. They have a zero turn lawnmower. I don't know, maybe that's pretty big aspirations on my part, but uh, but it looks like a really cool lawnmower. I've got about an acre and a half to mow, so it'd be nice to have a zero turn like that. But hey, who knows? If you know somebody at Ryobi, reach out and say, hey, give Russ a call. Now I do have two of these. And so I wanna reward you for watching this entire video from start to finish. I like to say thank you to those of you who do that. People who watch my video from the beginning to the end without stopping, without skipping. That's what grows this channel the most, you guys. So I really appreciate that. So I'm gonna give one of these to one of you. So all you have to do to be eligible to win one of these is just post a comment down below. You have to be a subscriber as well. So subscribe, post a comment down below. In about a week, I'll pick one of those comments randomly and I'll ship one of these power source chargers to you. Uh, very, very cool. You're not gonna get the battery. Okay, I need the batteries because I need them for my Ryobi tools. But if you want a chance at getting this, just comment down below. Hit that thumbs up if you got any value out of this video. I want to thank you for watching the entire video today once again. Have a great day, everyone, and we'll see you next time.